This video we're going to look at um, adding a, our own shape. Now, first of all I'll show you how to add existing pivot figures and pivot shapes and then we'll look at creating our own. So what I've got is, I've got the wee guy in the middle here, which is good. But if we look over the right hand side, you'll see I can add a another stick figure. Okay, and if we put them close together, like that, we can see they're almost holding hands. And we can do animations based on that. Or if you look down here, you'll see the library. Now, I've put in a variety of objects into the library. But if I just show you roughly how we do that. Okay, so here's the objects. I can hit the plus button. That then asks where will we find it. Now, I have the objects located in a variety of places uh, on your desktops. It's the first place you'll find them, but you'll also find them in the network area. Uh, now, here's hoping I remember to copy them. I did. Okay, so optional sticks, and I've got already done numbers, I've done alphabets. So I'm just going to add in these extra stick figures, and I just simply add open to it. And now you'll notice that these objects here have all been added in. And we can simply add the objects by double clicking. So there we go. Set of pivot stairs added and because they are pivots I can simply drag them where I need them to be and we can go ahead and start animating from there so obviously somebody's walking up downstairs it's a wee bit hard on just regular walking and to be honest with you I've not done this before so it'll be a little bit of fun to see how it looks so all I'm going to do is get this guy to walk up so new frame so let's drag him where I want him to go now I'm going to move him forward a wee bit and I want that leg to look like that leg stayed still. So I'm putting it back where the shadow is. And I want this leg to look like this leg moved. I want this to bend. And this to move. The head goes forward for balance. New frame. And again, move it forward. Bend. Bend. Put it in position. Bring this one up. And the stairs are a wee bit big for him, eh? Uh, huge, big, giant stairs. That and like that. Now, if you were in this position, you would actually probably fall over. So I need to lift them up slightly and do this. So I'm straightening this leg, and again, we'll just put a wee bit of bend in there to do it. And new frame, and this time we're going to pivot around this foot. So we'll lift it up, put it back down. For here, let you bring the body over more. Bring this up. Okay, and you'll see that it's already lifted this leg off. And I can again just move that there. Move his head up. A new frame, and I'm going to lift him up. Put his foot down. And normally, what you would do by this point is you swing your leg. I need to get him, he's off balance terribly, so I need to get him more over. So let's try that. There we go. So that's a bit better. So maybe I'll put this, lift the leg up to clear it. And bring this arm down like that. And new frame. And again, we're going to move it across a little bit, bend it back a little bit, straighten the leg because obviously the, the height's not quite right. Drop it in, bring this leg through, bend it to go up, like that, and it's a new frame, and just rinse and repeat. So let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's, that's relatively convinced. I know I've not done an awful lot in there. If the animation is not playing properly, I'm recording at two frames per second and the playback's not quite doing it at that speed. So what I'll do is I'll just try doing that here. Two frames per second and I'll just hit play. Okay, so you can see and you can see basically it looks like the weight shifts on. Don't feel embarrassed to stand up and try to think about how your body's moving because basically we're all wireframes inside, so it's just a skeleton. Um, therefore, we have to do all these different bits. But you'll see what I mean about the weight. He looked like he was off balance, and then we, we pull it back in as it goes on to it. And that can help give the impression of speed as well. 
So that's stair animation, but also adding items from the library.